I am aware <laughs> that the amount of people interested in my drawings is a teeny tiny small. I know most of you just watch my drawing videos when there is uh, the upgrade box involved. Still, I do enjoy my uh, daytime dolls so much that I want to make drawings out of them. Starting, obviously, with the two you already know if you watch my videos, which is Dawn and Day. Let's do some drawing. Would you please keep staying? So. We will start with the dawn. I came to the conclusion <laughs> with dawn and um, day finished and me working on dusk and night that with the costumes they have, they could also be a very interesting themed roleplay game group. <laughs> the Dusk, I think, would be quite the nice, yeah, dancer, thief, bard kind of character. And the uh, Day, quite the nice magician. Uh, the basic uh, idea was monster high dolls are uh, do have their drawing version as well so why not my dolls as well because especially this group has very much a uh, draw a, a quality f for me that is how do I phrase that um, this group already has a quality for me that has the potential to look nice in a drawn version as well basically done. I think I want to use this one again. I have to think about that for a moment because that is not how I picture to her. Maybe I have to redraw her face in uh, digital. To say it with the word, wise words of the great people of Drawfi, I will fix it in post. <laughs> I already thought I want to scan them in and um, make drawing pages out of them for you. So... Let's fix it in post. <laughs> With that, she is 
at least outline. Oh, drawing ask. She is done. We might paint her later, which would be a good idea because then I can try how it works to draw on printed pages. Never did that before. So, you go away. Dawn is basically done. Let's draw him. Already did rework. Uh, we, I already did rework her. She does not have lashes on this side. Just noticed that now. Uh, yeah, I did rework most of her already digital. I have to add some lashes on this eye. <laughs> Tada! One thing I did, and I think I have to do it with him as well because I don't want to sketch him completely new or his head is that I positioned her head a slightly more to this side. There is an awful lot <laughs> of distance between the neck and the chin. So um, I did this because of how the monster high dolls are constructed and I thought it looked nice while I was drawing, but yeah, I think it look, looked better fixed. So. Now, enough of her for the moment, let's start with him. And yeah, you see, he has exactly the same problem and because I am going to print him out as well, I think I leave the sketch as it is and draw the outlines and we will work from there.
highly likely that I will remove two pages out of this book for the printing process later. <laughs> because I don't have any um, other paper for drawing with alcohol markers. Mixed media paper, alcohol ink paper, you know. Now, just for some comparison, this is how I drew her, and this is how the printed one looks. So some changes in the face, basically everything was taken down a little bit. I did forget to give her lashes, <laughs> so maybe I have to change that. Um, but everything else is more or less the same. As I said, I replaced her head a little bit backwards, but the rest of it, basically the same. And with him, I did decide to make his head a bit smaller and to straighten out uh, the uh, thingamajigs here on top. A little bit more and I decided to make his head smaller because compared to her his head seemed to be a little bit too big so now we want to paint them and I want to paint these ones So it looks like the recording of the audio stopped right after I started it. So hello. <laughs> I think I put her away for a moment and start with him and then we will decide what we need to do. And because I am the most intelligent person on this planet, I did record audio, <laughs> but just uh, deleted it instead of saving it from here on out. So uh, now you have to deal with voice over me for the last moments. I gave him his skin color and everything with alcohol markers as well and as with her I noticed that I don't have exactly the colors I used in the original dolls but I thought they were close enough. And yeah, then I looked at the drawings for two days and was like, hmm, do I want to change it? Do I want to use some colored pencils on top or do I don't want to do that? 
I like the look of colored pencils in the end, but I hate drawing with them. <laughs> so I never do that. Um, I have a big box. I was gifted by a friend, but yeah, they were used quite sparsely in their life until now, because I decided let's put down a layer of um, color pencils on top. These are oil-based color pencils, so uh, yeah, just to say that. <laughs> and especially her skin color turned out quite orange and slightly darker than uh, the doll, but I think for her drawing I really like this orangey, darker skin color because it has a bit more of the uh, yeah sunrise colors in it. For the doll, I do think I really prefer the uh, paler skin color, but for the drawing, I'm ha I'm happy with that. Yeah, and then of course he had to get some uh, love too as well with the color pencils and. And then I was finally done with the two. And I have to say it was a good decision, at least in my book, to first do the uh, alcohol ink, then the colored pencils, because I think they have quite a lot of depth because of the colored pencils. Normally I can't be bothered, <laughs> as I said. I'm too lazy for doing colored pencils all of the time, but maybe I should do that more often because the combination is quite nice. <laughs> so anyway, um, I was fairly surprised because we have just the most normal, most cheap or cheapest printer at home that the alcohol ink was not lifting up anything. Printing out the um, drawings with a regular printer went insanely well. That was my biggest surprise. And after some final back and forth, they were finally done. I really like how they turned out and I hope you do too, because there will be definitely a second video where I draw dusk and night as soon as they are done. <laughs> yeah, so I hope you have a great time and we will see us in another video. Until then, bye. <laughs>